Hi guys, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Jordan Bone and this is a new series called Mindset Makeup Mondays where I do my makeup and we talk about a topic to do with mindset. I have been doing this for years but without really realizing it and I stopped doing makeup videos for a long time. But you guys have kind of requested that to come back. So here we are and I hope you enjoy this. If you haven't subscribed, then please do so. It really, really makes my day and I want this channel to grow with you again because it's been a while. So thanks for joining me. Let's just jump straight into the video. Hi guys, I hope you're all well. This is so weird because this is gonna be kind of like a makeup video and I haven't done a makeup video in a million years and I said I wouldn't do them again. So here I am contradicting myself, but you know, we grow, we change, we adapt, we move. And I've decided to start this series called, Mon <laughs> what's it even called? Uh, Mindset Makeup Mondays. And thing is, a lot of you guys love makeup. I love, I love makeup, but I haven't ever not loved makeup. I just wanted to go into more the mindset and I'm like, why don't I do both sometimes? It doesn't have to be all the time, but this series can be on a Monday, talking about mindset, putting makeup on, just being here, having a chat and connecting with you. I won't necessarily go into the products as much. I'll put them in the description bar, but it's just like having a chat. So I'm just going to get started because I literally I haven't done this in a million years. I'm just popping on some primer first. Um, but this is weird as well because I am actually using one of Caesar's cameras because my cameras have all broken. Typical. I'm going to go for a Pammy look, by the way. A bit of 90s Pammy. Um, uh, yeah, so my cameras are broken and I'm having to adapt. And adaption is a massive part of life, massive part of my life, a massive part of everyone's life. Um, so I'm adapting right now. I can't even see myself because this camera doesn't flip. So I'm going to have to get myself a camera. But guys, how have you all been? I mean, I've started vlogging again, but obviously this feels a bit more like profesh setup vibes. Um, this feels so strange. <laughs> a lot of the makeup I'm using actually is still makeup I used when I did makeup videos. I haven't actually bought makeup in a long time and it makes me think I definitely need to go makeup shopping because I am not in the loop anymore. You guys will be like, oh my god, you're still using this, you're still using that. Well, I'm a loyal Scorpio, so I just stay with what I love. <laughs> um, but the mindset stuff that I think I want to talk to you about is kind of that thing of you know, thinking that we should be doing one thing and stick to it and like never kind of veering back to other things or feeling like we're contradicting ourselves or this makes me think this is more about judgment, isn't it? We judge ourselves a lot. Um, I think that that is so important to talk about now. I've literally just thought that in my mind. And I think you guys know I'm very um, in the moment with a lot of my videos, I always have been. Um, so that won't really change. So this is a minute ago. I was like, let's talk about, oh no, I've changed my mind. Um, but yeah, so basically I think it's so easy to, you know, worry about what people think, especially on the internet, even though it feels like it's not real sometimes. And, um, I was like, I'm never doing makeup, makeup again. I, you know, that isn't as spiritual. That's like not helping as many people. Then I realized the time that I helped people most, look at my makeup, the time that I helped people most was when I did My Beautiful Struggle. And that video was pro pr predominantly based around makeup. But that is kind of where I guess makeup um, inspiration for me started because not only was I putting makeup on, but I was trying to like motivate people to think that their lives, you know, aren't that bad and that, you know, even when it is bad, even when there is dark times, it's all worth it because it's life is so rare. God, I've put a lot of foundation on. Um, so, I mean, I think I got in my own head thinking that makeup wasn't, uh, you know, I thought it was superficial or even though I loved it, I started to think, no, I want to help people in more ways than just makeup, which I do. And I do that within my coaching. And if you'd like to work with me within coaching, you can send me a message. But, um, it's, it, we're not just one, you know, one way. There's so many aspects to us. And I think it's important to explore all those aspects of our personalities, of our, you know, how we grow, how we adapt and how we kind of like become more. We're not always just one way. And I think, you know, being yourself and allowing your inner child to do these things 
is really important because it's how we kind of find things that we truly love and it's expressing us expressing ourselves i think in a way like doing makeup for me has always been something that i've been proud of because i really made sure i could do it because obviously not obviously if you haven't followed me before um i couldn't do my makeup when i was first injured so i'm paralyzed from chest down um so when i was first injured i couldn't do makeup and that was the thing that i was working towards makeup was the thing that i wanted to make sure i could do and i got there um so if i want to do makeup again i will if i decide that i don't want to do makeup again that's up to me but right now i felt like i had this idea of mindset and makeup so combining the two to be honest you know we just sometimes need a break from certain things to figure out what we want and i think i'm just gonna keep doing that and see what you guys love as well because you know you're the ones watching i'm spending my energy creating these videos for you whoops i want you to enjoy it like you know you know <laughs> i said i'm doing like a pammy look right which i am but it's like my own adaption but also I'm just doing my makeup how I do it every day at this point so far. Um, but I do think it's so important and the most spiritual thing you can be is yourself. And there's a lot of energy within the spiritual community I feel where it's like you have to be a certain way. You have to um, be so like perfect and you don't want to wear makeup or you never forget your meditation. You are just like this epitome, epitome, epitome epitome what the word um you are just perfect and that isn't the case you know i still have bad days i still get pissed off i still have times where i'm like oh this isn't like not what i want right now and that is okay that's human i think you guys have known that i spoke about shadow work quite often well i do on my instagram i don't know if i have that much on my youtube channel but i've spoken a lot about shadow work and how it's actually super important because that's how you become self-aware. I have used this concealer for about 10 years now. <laughs> I love it, it's the Maybelline Age Rewind. I don't even think it's called Age Rewind anymore. I don't even know, the eraser I said I wasn't saying what the products were, but here we are. And good old beauty blenders, still the vibe. Am I stuck in like 2016? <laughs> but so guys, if you're worried about what someone's gonna think of you, Think about what the reward is for you and what you want to do and your authentic truth and it's your life. We have this one life and it's so easy to get caught up on what other people think we should be or what other people won't judge us for. But in reality, other people judge people constantly, all the time. And the people that do that, it's a direct reflection and a direct mirror of themselves because you know, I mean, we're human, we have judged and we probably will always, but when we judge, it's a reflection of us. It's gonna be projected back onto ourselves because the subconscious mind is so clever and the subconscious mind takes everything personally. So I say it's clever, but we take it personally, which is a bit like, mm, okay. So if we call someone something horrible, we're actually calling ourselves that, which is crazy. And then we'll start like living in that reality. So if you're thinking, oh, I shouldn't go back to something like, like how I am with this, with makeup. Or if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, but you're like, oh, but no one will watch it. Or people will judge me in my hometown or my friends or my boyfriend, my mom, my dad, like are gonna think something of me. Like just do you. like. Sometimes I think it's best to just do things than necessarily tell people. Just get out there and do it. Because we can often tell people all these ideas and then they get in our heads because of the judgment and then we don't do it. So if you have something that you think is a good idea, just do it. Or if you want to tell someone, tell someone you know who's gonna be honest but it's gonna actually be giving you good advice as well, or not even advice, like if you just wanna talk about, oh shit, look what I did. <laughs> if you wanna talk about something and get excited, know who you can talk to. Know if like there's certain people who you think, oh, they're gonna rain on a parade, there's no point in telling them. Just think about it a little bit. 
or just get out there and do it and not care because you have one, this one life, make the most of it. It's like when we get super old and we're, you know, if we're fortunate enough to get old, you know, because it's a privilege, um, we don't want to look back and be like, oh, well, I should have done that. Or I should have gave that one more try or, you know, just do these things. Wow, I've only got the eyebrows. I feel like I am quicker at makeup these days, as I, to be honest, guys, because I wear eyelash extensions pretty much all the time. Um, so that makes getting ready quicker. But, you know, I'm all about kind of like, I like looking nice and getting glam. I'm also about efficiency <laughs> because, you know, time's precious. We don't want to spend all our time getting ready. I like getting ready for like, if it's like a thing, like getting glam if it's like every day I mean to be honest I don't wear makeup every day anymore I used to but because I, I think because I don't film the videos I don't really I'm still into this highlighter I've literally loved this highlighter for ages so I'd love you to tell me in the comments below what kind of mindset chat you would like me to talk about what kind of looks you'd like to see I mean the looks aren't really that important it's more about what I'm saying but I just hope that you know, do my makeup with you guys. You might be sitting at home doing yours as well. Like this can be like a little friendship thing, like a nice little group of people doing their makeup, having a chat, being, you know, thinking about kind of the topic at hand and um, help your, like your day is starting right. So right now, I just want you to know that you have an idea for a reason. If you feel motivated to do something, that is for a reason. And I've just realized this video is probably having no edits because I'm constantly talking. <laughs> um, but if you have an idea that feels exciting to you, that's for a reason. So if someone wants to judge that, let them. Let them see you shine. And there's another series that I'm gonna be doing coming soon as well, but I'm not sure, so I'm just saying it just in case. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. I'm not gonna tell you quite yet because we're just gonna do these things, remember? We're just gonna do it gonna show up take an action it's so important I have um, completed my yes supply course which I'm so excited about so my coaching has gone to another level now because like I've got all these amazing techniques such as hypnosis NLP life and success coaching time techniques and hypnosis did I say hypnosis hypnosis oh and EFT tapping that's what I was gonna say and I love EFT tapping how did I almost forget that um, but that is a really good one so I love that so much. So like I say, if you um, are looking for a coach, feel free to reach out to me. You can message me on Instagram, email me. And I can even help you with that mindset one-on-one. -on -one. And you know, with that mindset stuff as well, we look at limiting beliefs too. We, we kind of get to the root cause. We don't just talk about you know, all the positive stuff and be like, yeah, my life's great. When in reality, there's things that are hard. Um, we look at what is actually hard because sometimes we think there's one problem, but that one problem that's easy to admit is because there's something else that is underlying maybe from 10 years ago, 20 years ago, a long time ago. A lot is from our childhoods. I hope you can even see it. I hope I haven't had my head down too much. This is like my trial video. So yeah. Okay, we're on the eyes. I mean, I haven't done the Pammy brows because I still love my fluff, my fluffy brows. My sister laminated them for me and I love. So just out of curiosity, guys, I would actually love to know what your favorite content from me has been in all the years that I've been on YouTube. Because all I want to do is kind of make my mark on the world in a positive way and attain you at the same time and kind of see where it all goes. I mean, this is why I think oh, this might be a good series to do, even if you probably can't see my makeup that much. I hope you like my new office, by the way, my new setup. This is completely different than it used to be um, because I wanted it more of like, I wanted more of like a calming vibe and not just so white and clinical. Um, that had been like that for so many years, so it was time to change things. But Pamela Anson is such a vibe right now. But I do hope that this video today has even made you think, oh, you know, I wanna do something new. I wanna try something. And it's like, when you try, you know, 
you might not succeed straight away, but know that it's not even just trying. You That trying is doing, and that trying is helping you learn. And when you try, you eventually get there because you don't give up. So if you think I'm gonna do something and it's not perfect straight away, don't go, oh, that wasn't for me, or I'm not good enough for that. Keep trying because you're then gonna be doing. It's not even trying, it's like you're developing. And remember, I've probably told, told this to you a million times, but if you haven't seen my videos, then you might not have heard it, um, but you might have heard it from someone else, is that there's actually no such thing as failure. We go for that mindset, that positive mindset, because there isn't. The only thing that there is, is feedback. And we can either look at it as failure, or we can look at it as feedback. If you look at it as feedback, then you're winning, because each time you do something, you'll grow, and you'll be like, oh, how can I make this better next time? How can I do it next time without making that mistake, or without that happening again? Everything's feedback. If everything was perfect straight away, you wouldn't, you wouldn't grow and you wouldn't learn. Guys, literally, I'll just put that eye shadow on. And because like normally I'm like this in the mirror, I'm like, hi, mirror. But, um, so I just got it all down my face, so that's great. Um, don't you think it's crazy that 2020 was two years ago? Crazy. I feel like we live in some sort of different time if that makes sense. Like, I feel like we live in like a alternate universe sometimes. I was looking at, um, uh, what was I looking at? Glitches in the Matrix the other day. And I'm like, mm, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. It's creepy. Mindset has been a massive part of my life and it hasn't made it so it's like, you know, perfect. Like I said, and I think that's a misconception. Mindset has just helped me to become the better version of me. And that despite any of the real difficult stuff like i know that life's still worth living i know that i'm still worthy and i'm still more than those bad things that happened to me and you are as well so that's why i think this is so important to you know have these conversations come back to youtube love my life on youtube again i love youtube i was like you know we don't need to always put ourselves in a box and it's like people say, oh, you need a niche and all this. And it's like, yeah, but mine is mindset, I guess. But also I just like sharing my life in general with you. Like I like doing the vlogs and I don't want to do, be in the vlogs and be like, oh God, I, I haven't meditated in this vlog. I haven't spoken about crystals in this vlog. I've just been out with my friends and my boyfriend having cocktails, like, but that's fine. Because like I said, there's so much more to us than just one aspect. And I like sharing all my aspects, I suppose. It's a bit like I want to like create my own reality show. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm almost done. I haven't done the lips yet. And you guys always message me on Instagram, ask me what my lips are. Sometimes I feel like I'm more productive when I'm ready, ready, like make to have my makeup on. And I haven't, like I said, I don't wear it every day, but I think I'm going to start doing more because I do feel like I've become more productive and that can actually be a topic another mindset video actually about productivity and what can help with that because I think that will help a lot of people let me know um, on to the lips so I'm going to say what products I'm using because you guys always ask so my lip products I've been wearing probably for about two years non-stop um, is MAC Whirl so I'm now using Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury need another one <laughs> And then to be honest, I put a gloss on. Probably wouldn't need it the primary look, but I'm going to. Um, and I just use any pinky nudie gloss I have. I was using a Buxom one, I was using a Charlotte Tilbury one, and I've run out of them. So now I'm using a Laura Geller. It's called Pink Sapphire. Um, it looks really glittery, but it's not when it's on the lips. This is my version of the Pammy look. Hope you liked it. I hope you liked the conversation as well. Like I said, this is more, more gonna be focused on the mindset. It's like chatting, being with your girlfriends, um, but it's gonna have makeup in it as well. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, like I said, I say I don't care what people think, but I obviously care what you think, my viewers. Like, I hope you liked it. If there's some things off, like the lighting, the sound, the actual whereabouts on the screen I am, please bear with me because this is a completely new setup. I can't even see what I look like. Um, I don't know what the lighting looks like. I don't know how I sound. 
and so I'm adapting. So please bear with me with that. But in general, I hope you enjoyed the content. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click that notification bell because I know that sometimes it's easy to miss a video. And especially because I'm coming back to YouTube, this is all kind of new again. Maybe next time I should put that lamp on behind me. That would look quite cozy, right? Um, let me know. But um, I hope you're doing well. Remember that you're amazing, that you're worthy, that you can achieve great things. If you put your mind to it, if you get on with the things that you want to do and you just do them, you learn from your mistakes, you continue to grow, you will. Um, Stop holding yourself back because you are a rock star. And if you don't feel like one right now, you can be. I've probably got lipstick all over my teeth talking to you right now. I really needed to lick my teeth then <laughs> because of the lip gloss sometimes, you know. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day. And I'm so excited to be back in a different way, like not just vlogging. So yay, spiritual videos will be coming as well. So look for them.